gonna be like five degrees Celsius out here. So yesterday you guys watched me sign some paperwork at a local real estate agent's office and you guys had a ton of questions <laughs> and also a few predictions as well. So because I can't tell you the entire full story right now, let's at least answer some of the questions that you guys had. Am I buying a piece of land on the far side of the island by a lake so I can live in a cabin? No. Am I going to homestead and live off the earth and build a tiny home? No. Am I giving up on van life because I'm sick and tired of living in this cold van because my home is broken? Was this the final thing that made me say forget van life forever? No. I'm not buying a home and I'm not buying an apartment. I told you in the video the other day that I don't do van life traditionally. I'm not following the herd like everybody else. We're making a trip over to the mainland, so I'm just grabbing a bunch of stuff here out of my shop. We got a heater for that van, so no more freaking cold nights. I don't know if I've got all the tools to set it all up, though, but I, uh... Forget bringing food. <laughs> I'll just eat out the whole time. I don't have a fridge. Yeah, screw it. Drive through it is. Morning, Jeffy. As much as buying an off grid piece of land somewhere and building a little cabin beside a creek sounds so peaceful. I just don't know if my energy is slow enough to be able to truly enjoy a piece of property like that. So believe it or not, I've been looking at commercial buildings. <laughs> yeah, I told you I'm not doing van life the traditional way. I've had this business idea in mind for a long time and one of our subscribers, Jim Johnson, he's a real estate agent out here, said, Chrome, I found you the ultimate commercial building. We'll talk more about this once I sign the final paperwork, but as you've seen, well, <laughs> it's happening. All right, 85, 85. <laughs> this is my first time. Um, they're probably gonna like stick me up top. I've never been in a vehicle where I can go onto other decks on the boat. I've always been in my big van. So they always shove me in the bottom with everybody else. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Maybe they're gonna stick me on the bottom. Who knows? It's so foggy outside, you can't even see the ocean. That's crazy, you can't see anything. There's like a white wall. Beautiful in Vancouver. Look at that, baby. Damn, what a day. Oh, beautiful down here today. I grabbed all my packages, wasn't that much in there today, just a couple of boxes. All those fall colors, incredible. We're doing what we do best. I hit Vancouver, grabbed packages, and now we're the heck out of the city. Some, for, for some reason lately, this, uh, this city vibe ain't vibing with me, you know? A, a few heaters. This one's an actual in. Well, let me turn the light on. The all-in-one stand-up one, and also a smaller proper install one. I'm gonna put this temporary one in here, and I think I'm gonna permanently install that other one in the ambulance. Not sure if I got room. If I got room here to put this in, so. I don't have any cutting tools or anything, but there is a few little holes in the ground over here. I'm hoping to just put everything through. We'll find out. 
<laughs> we'll find out real quick. Okay, over here are some holes. I was hoping to put it down there, but I don't think I have long enough of pipe that comes with, I guess I could bend this open. So all this needs to be repaired. There used to be a big box here bolted to the floor. So this needs a whole new panel piece anyway. So I could probably bend that open a bit. So this is the same one that's inside of my shop. The one inside my shop is a eight kilowatt. This one's a five kilowatt. We'll strap this to the wall there. Should strap in nicely. And then we can just put the tubes right down the holes underneath. <laughs> what a great temporary fix. Cable, cable strapped in there. This muffler, if I can get a clamp through there, I can probably bolt it right through that hole. All this stuff better work, that's all I gotta say. You should see how I connected the exhaust outside. It'll work though, I think. I hope. <laughs> So we're going to secure this a little bit more with some copper wire just because this bounces a little bit. Let me show you what I did out here. There's the exhaust. <laughs> I just uh, used the copper wire to strap it to there. Temporary anyway. And then I also used the copper wire to hold up the intake so it's away from the exhaust. And I used a piece of copper wire and wrapped it around the back of the body mount for now. And uh, that'll work. <laughs> Sweet! Yeah, man, everything's pretty sealed down there. My friends, we have heat. Got the tube? We can uh, point it back at us. We're gonna let this run for a while just to ensure we don't have any problems. So the only dangerous thing about doing this, if you were to ever do it this way in your van without doing a proper install like I have in the other box, is there's a space there. You wanna make sure nothing rolls underneath there and touches that pipe. You know, a cloth gets down there and you're gonna have an instant fire. So if I was you guys, I would, uh, if you're gonna do this way, I'd do some kind of a barrier around here just to kind of keep yourself safe from that exhaust because that exhaust probably gets pretty hot. Let's do a little check. None of Cruzy's toys get underneath there, so we're good to go. It's kind of like we live in a little bit of a homeless camp, huh? <laughs> I know, bro. We've been working in parking lots today, doing it the old van life way. <laughs> you know, I... Uh, I did a pile of my van in parking lots back in the day. It's just the way you did, you know? You, you pull everything out of your van in a Home Depot parking lot. I remember insulating my van in a Home Depot parking lot. So convenient to park your home beside the place where you need all the supplies. It's just a super convenient part about van life for sure. But today, I felt like a bum. <laughs> I did side doors are open people are walking by and I felt so ashamed because I've gotten so used to over the years having something that I was so so proud of just it was beautiful and people would look over and they'd be like holy that's an inside of a van 
Now they look over at me, look in the back of this thing. They're like, yeah, that's what I'd expect. <laughs> it's, uh, it's messy back there. Oh gosh. All right, let's go find a place to, co to camp out for tonight. Just that Timmy's having coffee and look at that van. Oh, it's in such good shape. What a beauty. Yeah, look at that thing. I'm gonna drive down into the industrial area here and see if we can find a place to park for the night. Yeah, these areas would be okay here too. gonna do this one here. I like this spot. This is where overthinking spots way too much just gets in the way of just finding a good place to sleep. But you could sit here all day and go, well, there's people over there. This place has a side door open over there. Maybe I shouldn't. Or just pull over, put your dividers on, go to bed. You'll probably get up in the morning without being disturbed whatsoever and often have another nice day tomorrow. If you get a knock on the van, then you know this is not a good area. <laughs> Simple as that. you're driving by you'd never know that there's covers on those windows like from a distance looks like just a regular cargo van on the side of a road but I will tell you something this is the dead truth I way prefer sleeping in a camper van that looks like a camper van someone could cruise by here at night see a blank van blacked out windows and go hmm I wonder what's inside. Smash goes the window, and now I have an intruder. Where, if you're in a camper van that looks like a camper van, way less chance of that ever happening, and I would rather people know that I'm sleeping in this than people not, and it just be a random vehicle in the middle of a side road. Keep that in mind. And uh, I didn't really notice that at the beginning of my van life, because this is all I knew, was full-blown stealth camping. But then as soon as I converted my van into a camper van and put van life all over it, my YouTube channel all over it, I started to sleep better. Truth. Cruzy, you realize I installed a heater today? thinking that we would have a cold night tonight it is so warm outside right now i definitely won't be using the heater tonight like she's warm like i kind of just about don't want to crawl inside the van right now i'm an under bed mattress stiff sniffer <laughs> uh, i just wanted to make sure that there is no moisture underneath here because with all the condensation we've had on the uh, ceiling, I was worried that it was underneath the bed. I should actually grab that mat that I have that's underneath the bed in my home. Well, this is the bed for my home, whatever. And put it underneath here. What that does is just lifts your mattress up off the wood, allowing a little bit of airflow in it. It's like a, a plasticky woven sort of thing. It's worked wonders in my van. Anyway, guys, I uh, got a phone call from my daughter today and she's like, hey, <laughs> She's going to look at a university. I'm like, you're going to look at what? Insane. And now she said she's going to look at universities for next year. So she's graduating this year. <clears throat> Mind blown. So proud of that kid. I was never book smart. Where she got that from? I don't know, man. I failed grade nine two times, got booted out of school permanently from every school in the district in grade 10 
for fighting. But I got bullied too many times and then I fought back and booted. <laughs> I wasn't good at school and nor did I like it either, but she's uh she's just crushing it. Anyway, um I got some running around and stuff to do tomorrow. You guys will come along with that. And then uh we're going to see my daughter, then back to Vancouver Island because uh in a video yesterday you guys watched me sign some papers. Well uh I think by the time I get back to the island, I'll be signing the final paperwork and I can, I don't want to tell you guys until that final paperwork is signed because at that point it is 100% official. Then we'll talk. Mm! It's crazy cool. Oh, it's hot in here tonight. Man, I need an air conditioner now. <laughs> I can't make my mind out. I'm getting hot flashes and stuff. Hey, do you guys get that? Hot flashes? Oh God, first my toe, now hot flashes. <laughs> Just kidding, it's warm in here though. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye.